put our camera in, you're fine. Hello. Is it working? Is it working? It's Are you working. Selfie? Yeah, it's my selfie cam, my gimbal selfie cam. It works great. Yeah. So this way I can tape tape my meeting of Alan Downey. Wait. That's gonna be sweet. The moment, the moment that I meet Alan. How It is. Very cool of you guys. <laughs> Folks. That's Alan Downey, who started the whole Think Java, Think Python revolution back 1999, and I'm going to meet him now for the first time. And then you can ask him that question that I should have asked him a long time ago. Right. So what are your thoughts, Jeff, right before we meet I'm the great excited, Alan Downey? I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm very excited. But you've met Alan before. I have, This I is have. my first but, time. But it's always exciting. Exactly. <laughs> So Alan Downey, I'm Charles Severance. Charles, it's great to see We're co-authors. Yes. We've never met in person. We talked on the phone. This is a famous Jeff Elkner, of course. It's yeah. made famous by this guy. Yeah, well we all we all everybody got made famous. That's right. So my so the first question I was asking Jeff and he doesn't even know the answer to is why did you choose GFDL back in nineteen ninety nine? That was before Creative Commons, before OCW, before everything. What possessed you? Uh, you know, actually, the first version of the book, I put it under the GNU free... Um, GFDL. The, the, no, oh, not, no, not... GPL. The GPL. Oh, you did GPL. Because I didn't even know about the FDL. And then somebody got a hold of you and said, from hey, MIT? Man, and then they said, wait a minute, this is documentation, this is not code. You should use this other license. And so I switched. Um, and then when Creative Commons came along, some of those licenses have been useful. Yep. Actually, part of the reason that uh, working with O'Reilly has worked out very well. Yeah, yeah. I do things usually under a non-commercial yep. Creative Commons license, and then that's kind of a compromise. It's, yep. it's maybe not ideal. But those are the details, the why question. No, the non-commercial is, I think, a beautiful thing. And actually, Creative Commons is thinking about getting rid of it. Yeah. I'm sad about that because I think it's a fine middle ground. For e copies can be delivered free and no one feels bad about that. Yep. Print copies you make money off of, so it's pretty cool. So I agree. I think there's a there's a nice use case for it. So have you ever have you ever tried to count the number of derivative books of Think Python? No. Do you think it's a hundred? 200, 300. I don't know how to think like a computer scientist Java version. If you go all the way back, yeah, go all the way back. Java is original. Um, there, are, there are a number of English language books that are modified versions. Including also, mine. Yep. We uh, need to get that data. There are, there are translations into other. I count those as separate ones. Yep. Um, I, but like RuneStone, no, like Brad Miller's stuff. Or interactive uh, ones. Yes. So, and then his book now. Do you have an interactive version? No, no, no. I just have the uh, Python for Informatics print and oh, e-version. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's been out for a while. That's yeah, that's. I did that like many years ago, and then I fought with uh, Cambridge Press. Remember that? Yeah, remember those calls? Yeah. So, so, but that's. But like, why did you give it away? I mean, it wasn't so cool in 1999 just to give books away. It wasn't not normal. No. So that's Tell, the question. I can, can we pause? I do want to. I want to finish right. signing books. Right. So these okay. Books aren't, aren't so we have to talk later. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll get back to this. Oh.